Inspector, I, I phoned you as soon as I saw the terrible mess. She must have struggled a lot. Oh, that scream. I'll never forget that as long as I live. You're the caretaker? Oh, that's right. Where's the girl's room, Mr. Fitch? Oh, yes, Inspector. Come right this way. Yeah, you're just up here at the uh, head of the stairs. You can almost see it from the end of the hall. Stay at the front door, Sergeant, and see that no one comes or goes without you knowing why. Oh, no, sir. Now, tell me, Mr. Fitch, has anyone gone out since you called the police? Oh, no, definitely not, Inspector. As soon as I heard the scream, I rushed up to the room, uh, saw a lion there through the open door and came straight down again to phone. These old houses don't usually have fire escapes, so the killer didn't have much time to make himself scarce, I'd say. Oh, y you mean he could still be in the house? Yes, it certainly looks that way, Mr. Fitch. Well, now, Mr. Hardy, let's hear your story. Uh, where were you all evening? Uh, I was out most of the evening for a drive. I, I, I came in tonight just after the murder. Murder? Well, death or whatever it is. Ah. Didn't you, uh, didn't anyone see you come in? Uh, there must have been quite a number of people on Miss Manning's landing. Yes, actually, there were a lot of people around her door talking. But, but I went straight up to my room and spoke. Didn't you up. wonder what was wrong with Miss Manning? Didn't you ask? Surely that would have been the natural thing to do? Well, I didn't want to get in the way. Anyway, I, I don't like to see accidents or sickness or death or creepy things like that. How could you tell there was something um, creepy if you didn't inquire? Uh, actually, I, I saw the doctor go into the room. In fact, I followed him into the house. You said just now that no one saw you. Uh, how about the doctor or the people on the landing? Oh, the doctor must have been in a hurry because he rushed straight up the stairs. People didn't notice me, I suppose, because they were staring into a room. Where is your room, Mr. Hardy? On the floor above. So you would have to pass Miss Manning's room either to come in or go out? Yes, of course. Seeing that her room was right next to the stair leading down the front door. And Mr. Fitch, the caretaker, might have seen you. That is, if you had been coming down the stairs immediately following her death. I'm not sure what you mean, Inspector. I mean, Mr. Hardy, that you are under arrest on suspicion of murder, and it is my duty to warn you that anything you say may be taken down and used in evidence. I'm still not sure what you mean, Inspector. I can't say that you have any reasonable grounds to arrest me for murder. I can. Had you been an innocent bystander tonight, there would have been no possible reason for you to lie about your impressions of the doctor. I didn't say what the doctor looked like. I merely pointed out that I followed him up the stairs. The doctor who was called here tonight was not, as you obviously assumed, a medical man, but a medical woman. There's no mistaking a woman, Mr. Hardy, even if she is a doctor. Doctor. <laughs> 